hello. It is the 21st of September 2013, and it's been about a year since my last update. Apologies for that. Thank you so much for staying with me for Just Fun. It has been two years in the making now, roughly. So um, you guys have every right to be wanting more. So let's give you a little bit more information. So a lot's been going on. We had Wasteland 2 on the funky rustic side, and we've got the imminent launch of History Fighter from Headrush Games with the uh, partner in crime, LeVon Lewis. That's his company's effort uh, in conjunction with the, the publisher Game Salad here in Austin, Texas. Got a lot of other projects going on, most of which we can't even talk about right now, but it's all super exciting stuff. And it unfortunately takes time away from the album, but there's a lot of cool collaborators. Like I think I mentioned on Facebook that Jimmy Hinson has done an unbelievable job on the drum side for Infinity, the original piece of which was written by Andrew Sega and Paul Schultz uh, way back in the day in the mod days. And if you don't know what mods are, just go ahead and do a Google search for M-O-D Amiga. Two separate words. We also got Oath of the Matron, which has had some amazing contributions from Andrew Aversa, and we're waiting on just some vocal recordings from the amazingly talented Jillian Aversa. Jillian, his wife. She recently sang at Video Games Live, the most recent tour there, and it, uh, she, you know, she's got an amazing voice, and she's going to contribute to the album. So it's got me really excited! And I think it's about time I broke the news about the bundle. Thanks to Josh Welchel and his band of merry men and women at, oh geez, what is it, Louder, uh, the new sort of record label Bandcampish type service. There's going to be a bunch of stuff released with Just Fun. There's going to be a collection of my earliest ad-lib songs remastered. There's going to be a collection of my early mod works before Unreal and Jazz Jackrabbit. Uh, not all of them are complete because completing all those songs would be, you know, pretty insane. But they will be in a compilation, literally kind of a Garage Days uh, hit style uh, situation. And there's still talks of a possible Deus Ex remix album. Uh, in the works. So how excited am I about all that? Finally got it in one Humphrey.